somebody like you has everybody's phone number. You've already mentioned some 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 names that are astonishing. So some sort of just almost edited highlights when George W. Bush was coming to Europe for the first time as president. You briefed him in person. You've mentioned some of the you mentioned the fact that you could phone up the Chancellor of the Exchequer and um, essentially tear a strip off him and and. Um, was there a point at which you felt you'd arrived? Because I'm, I'm always interested by the tension between being an insider and an outsider in journalism. Mm. And, and you, mm. you, what, what shines through the diaries, through the book, is that you, you are an outsider reporting on what you see, but, but you're also an insider. It, mm. it, 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 do, do you understand what I mean? The, the, I, I understand completely. Yeah, I think I it's the great you know, dilemma and challenge yes. is how do you not get so close that you're neutered. Yeah, and also you know, if you know them socially or if he's your I, Ch child's godfather, you're not going to get the gloves off, are you? Well, I always remember Len Downey, who was the successor to Ben Bradley at the Washington Post, saying to me once that, <laughs> you know, that? as the editor, you don't have any friends. Right. And, you know, I'm a pretty sociable person, but I never saw these people as friends. Right. Never. You can't afford to do that. And I never got sentimental with people. Right. And, you know, there were... There were people I had enormous respect for, like Mario Draghi, the European Central Bank governor, and he would and I would speak regularly. But you you could not afford to become friends because then you'd get both you'd cloud your judgment, but you get in between the reporters who are writing these stories and interfering. Bob Zelik, who's president of the World Bank, is probably the closest I've got to a friend. Mm. But I remember having a couple of very awkward conversations with him because he was really angry about. Sure. And I said, there's nothing I'm going to do here because I'm not getting in between the reporter. That's why the two words I've been surprised to say already in this interview were ruthless and insecurity. But that's it. So that you can hold that position because it involves a degree of ruthlessness and it involves very low levels of insecurity. You're not worried about upsetting someone because you are following a, a, a stronger truth or an intellectual truth rather than an emotional one.